This video will look at the basic principles of wind turbine control systems and explain how they regulate the power and follow the steady power curve. Most commercial wind turbines are variable speed pitch regulated machines, VSPR. This means that below their rated wind speed, they operate at variable speed with fixed blade pitch. For wind speeds above rated, they run at fixed speed with variable blade pitch. Let's start by looking at operation below rated wind speed. This is variable speed operation and we'll be introducing the term optimal mode gain. At wind speeds below rated, the goal is to capture as much energy as possible by maximizing the power coefficient. To do this, the tip speed ratio must be kept constant at the optimal value. This is only possible if the speed of the rotor can change as wind speed changes. To explain how this works, we first need to show that when the power coefficient is maximized, the ratio of generator torque to generator speed squared has a certain constant value. This constant value is called the optimal mode gain. So let's do the maths. By definition, the power coefficient, Cp, equals the mechanical power generated by the rotor divided by the power in the wind. Rearranging this, we can write this equation for mechanical power generated. Mechanical power also equals rotor torque times rotor speed, and the tip speed ratio is defined as the ratio of the blade tip speed to the wind speed. Rearranging this, wind speed equals omega r over lambda. Equation 1 is our original mechanical power formula. Substituting the new expressions for power and wind speed into equation 1, we have a new expression for rotor torque in terms of rotor speed and tip speed ratio. Equation 2. Finally, we convert from rotor torque and speed to generator torque and speed using the gearbox ratio big G. Now we're almost there. So far, everything has been completely general, and equation 3 could be used to find the generator torque for any combination of tip speed ratio and generator speed. The final step is to make this equation specific to the operating state that generates maximum power. Let's do this now. The optimum tip speed ratio, lambda O, is the one that produces the maximum power coefficient, Cp max. If we substitute lambda O and Cp max into equation 3, we have the optimal mode gain equation. Equation 4 is the optimal mode gain equation. It shows generator torque proportional to generator speed squared. All the quantities in the bracket are constants for any given turbine design. The value of the bracket, k, is the optimal mode gain value. When the ratio of generator torque to generator speed squared equals the optimal mode gain value, the turbine will be operating at maximum efficiency. This equation is used by Bladed in the control window. After a complete turbine model has been entered, Bladed can use the equation to work out the optimal mode gain value automatically, simply by clicking Calculate. So how does it work in practice? Well, the wind blows and the rotor turns. Generator speed is measured at each time step. From this, the generator torque demand is calculated using the optimal mode gain value, K. If the wind speed rises, the rotor speeds up. This means the torque demand value will also increase. The effect of this increased torque demand is to stabilize the rotor speed at a new, slightly higher value. The ratio of generator torque to generator speed squared returns to the optimal mode gain value. Similarly, if the wind speed falls, the rotor begins to slow down. This time, the controller response is to reduce torque demand, 
again stabilizing the rotor speed at a new value that restores the ratio of Q over omega squared to the optimal mode gain value. Now let's look at what happens for wind speeds above rated. Here the aim is to generate constant power output from wind of increasing energy. So how is this done? Power equals torque times rotational speed. Constant power is obtained with constant torque demand and constant rotational speed. It's easy for the turbine control system to set a constant torque demand. The challenge is to hold the rotor speed constant as well. Constant rotor speed is achieved by pitching the blades progressively towards feather as the wind speed rises. Pitching the blades ensures that despite the increasing wind speed, the net aerodynamic torque about the rotor axis is held at a constant value equal to the torque demand. With torque balanced, rotor speed and therefore power output both remain constant. The usual way to pitch the blades is to use motors called pitch actuators or pitch drives located in the hub of the turbine. These pitch actuators turn the blades by powering a pinion which rotates the blade root pitch bearing. In some turbines, hydraulic pitch actuators are used rather than motors. Let's look at a summary of that. With wind speed above rated, the generator torque demand is fixed at the maximum value. Generator speed is measured at each time step. If wind speed rises, the increased aerodynamic torque will cause the rotor speed and output power to increase. The response to this increase in speed is to pitch the blades towards feather. This reduces the aerodynamic torque, slowing the rotor. The rotor returns to rated rotor speed and power remains constant. Similarly, if wind speed falls and the rotor begins to slow down, the blades are pitched closer to fine pitch. This increases the aerodynamic torque and the rotor speeds up. The rotor returns to rated rotor speed, again restoring constant power output. In this video we've looked at the basic principles behind VSPR turbine control. Of course, in practice, real wind turbine controllers are much more sophisticated than this. Thanks for watching.